Greetings. This section here talks about uh, the use of maybe an air zuka in the topic of hearing protection or sound waves. It's kind of hard to visualize sound waves, but we're going to try and give you a little idea of a vision today using the movement of air representing the movement of sound waves. And to do that, you can see we've got a couple styrofoam cups here on the table, and we have what is called an air zuka. And this air zuka, you can Google that. There are different sizes of, of air zukas. There's a handle right here in which you hold it. Uh, this is the front where the air comes out. The back of the air zuka, this is just a, a, a plastic film, you might say, even like a trash bag type of plastic. And then there's a thing you pull back here and it's actually got an elastic band that pulls it forward. It's just a big rubber band, you might say. So what we're gonna do and how it actually works, we're gonna pull this back, we're gonna let go of it, and the elastic's gonna pull this back forward and push the air right out of here. So the only thing we're shooting is air, hence the name Air Zuka. But we're gonna example that as it's a sound wave coming out, so you can kind of visualize that. Keep it in mind when you protect your ears from loud sound, there's really three things you can do. You either protect your ears, wearing earplugs, earmuffs, or you uh, turn it down, or the third thing is you move away. Further distance helps you out. This example here is gonna give you an example of what would happen if we moved away from the sound. So I'm gonna back out of here just a little ways out give you a little idea. I'm going to shoot the air zuka and you're going to see how it's probably going to hit this first cup before it hits the last cup and it will probably move more simply because the air is hitting it faster and harder and it hits it first. So let's give this a try. As you can see, as at that example, this cup here got blown over and relocated where the back cup just kind of moved a little bit. And in this situation, you can see where this noise level would have been much louder here than moving away at a farther distance. And you can do this as a hands-on activity and all of your kids can try this because they're gonna wanna see how that sound wave moves further away and you can build your own air zuka, Google it, it shows you how to do that, or you can purchase this from Amazon, it's a $20 toy.